Maybe I should rebond my hair.、Uh, I can't wait to be the next Rapunzel. Shall I try? Hair rebonding. Actually, hair rebonding is all about protein restructuring. Proteins. Proteins and polymers build up from monomers called amino acids. Amino acids have two functional groups: a carboxylic group and a primary amine. There are twenty naturally occurring amino acids. The amino group of one amino acid can react with the carboxylic acid group of another to form an amide. A molecule of water is eliminated in this nucleophilic substitution reaction. Compounds formed by the linkage of amino acids are called peptides. Proteins have complex structures. At least three levels of structure can be distinguished in proteins. There are primary structure, secondary structure, and tertiary structure. The primary structure refers to the sequence of different amino acids along the protein chain. Each protein has a specific sequence of amino acids. The primary structure of a specific protein can be defined using the three-letter names of the amino acids. Helical structure. Of protein molecules is called the secondary structure. The chain is held in its helical shape by the hydrogen bonding between A H and O C groups. The picture shows the hydrogen bonding between the two groups. You can see from the picture, the protein helix may be bent, twisted, or folded into a particular shape, which is the tertiary structure. Beside hydrogen bonding, two other bonds are involved in the secondary and tertiary structures of proteins. One is bonding between the side chains or R groups of the amino acids. For example, acidic R groups such as that of aspartic acid can react with the basic side chain on another amino acid, such as lysine. The equation of this reaction is shown in the picture below. But why, why is it like this? This is because the acid in these properties of an amino acid. Amino acids have both an acidic and a basic functional group. The carboxylic acid group has a tendency to lose a proton, so it can act as an acid. The amine group has a tendency to accept a proton, so it can act as a base. The second is bonding between two units of the amino acid, cysteine, which has the side chain CH2SH. A cysteine is a sulfur-containing amino acid which occurs in keratin and other proteins, often in the form of cysteine. Two cysteine units can be oxidized to form an SS bond. In the picture, the cysteines lost two hydrogen atoms to give an SS bond. The resulting double amino acid is called cysteine and can link two protein chains. Haha, <laughs> interesting. But is it related to hydrogen bonding? Of course. Our hair is mainly formed by the type of protein called alpha carotene. Which contains a large proportion of cysteine with excess bridges. A keratin is a fibrous protein forming the main structural constituent of hair. During hair rebonding, a melt-reducing agent is used to break the excess bonds. Cysteine is reduced to cysteine. The hair is then treated using a hot fat iron. The first reaction in the picture shows this process. The excess bonds are formed by treating the hair with a gentle oxidizing agent. This locks the hair in the straightening arrangement. This is shown in the second reaction. The picture shows the breaking and reforming of excess bridges, which can produce permanent changes in the shapes of protein molecules. That's the magic of hair rebonding. Ah, no wonder it's called hair rebonding. <laughs>